Hello and welcome to D&D with high school students. And today we have an amazing adventure in store for you people because everybody's here. Yes, if you watched the last episode, you noticed that maybe people were not here, but now the whole crew is in attendance. So brief introductions that are in order. Here's Neely. She's playing um, the very um, strong and honorable mantra, the tiefling paladin. And then we have um, Beecher, who's playing Olin, who is a fallen ASMR warlock with a mysterious past. Then yeah, Samantha has joined us once again. Um, and this time, <laughs> we're going to find out what her character's name is, because she literally just dropped in out of the sky to kill a demon baby last time. So we'll find out about her. Um, okay. Tony, welcome back. Tony's um, going to be playing the part of Cademan, the forest gnome bard and folk hero. Yes. And also with a mysterious past. Something tragic happened in his past. Will we find out more about that? We'll see. Then Skyla has returned to us to play the role of Elixia, the wood elf druid. Yes. And traveling um, musician. And then finally we have <laughs> Matthew, who is playing Yomi, the dragonborn sorcerer, who also mysteriously is an old man. Possibly. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. All right. What if so, he's just been a baby this whole time? Though? That's true. What if he is? All right. So let me. We'll find out on this double hour episode on this of supremely long episode with high school students. Yes. All right. So let's recap. Oh, that was awesome. You guys traveled after, after your initial encounter. Yeah. You yeah. did some investigating. Oh you found out that there were more of these. What? Let's call them terrorist that's, incidents. That's mine. Oh, well, you yes. gave hey, it to me. hey, you know what that is? Talk over. Meta moment. Meta moment. There's meta no more meta moments. <coughs> the fans don't Everyone like meta moments. They don't like moments. meta moments. Meta, moment. meta, meta moment. moment. Before we started shooting, <laughs> I gave <laughs> Neely a drink of my diet coke, and now she's refusing to give it back. Gave the whole thing. No, I said here you can have a you sip. You don't want that back. She's yeah, got right. herpes. You know from what, Matt? Yeah. You can. You can You're have right. mine. Can I have some? No, thank you. That's disgusting. So now we're done with that talk. So let's recap. So you guys went and tracked down another one of these black cloaked right. beings, right? And yep. in the temple district, you guys found this this person traveling with the parade of pilgrims to, through one of the holy um, parades towards one of the temples. You saw him. You wisely, as a team, worked together to. Mm, you no sleeped him. Though. You invisible him. Here. You carried him back to an alley so for interrogation. And you were debating how to get him out of here when suddenly he awoke from the sleep. No, 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 no. He, he didn't just like awake. We saw them oh, starting wait. to like unfreeze. Yes. No, 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 or not yeah. unfreeze. Unsleep. Because yeah. I froze him I froze him after, after we slept him because that was like a longer time. And then we started to see him unfreeze. Yeah. So they never like woke up, but we just like started pounding him when right. they were asleep. And then the, the, the skin burst and the demons pop forth. Yeah. You guys fight. And this cat lady out of the blue falls from the sky and kills one of them. And you didn't let me And then backflips out just in time because Yomi casts cloud of daggers, efficiently eviscerating yeah. the demon babies. Y'all remember this now? She yep. And yeah. you're all, so here's where Still we pick up. There. You're Still in that alley. Not a bunch of dead demon babies. You're in that alley. Oh. There's gore, blood everywhere, and yeah. it's all over you because the cloud of daggers just sliced. And so you guys are covered in blood and guts and skin Is and it? eyeballs. Uh, okay. So, and you're in an alley, and there's a parade in the street still moving by, and you're covered in blood, and there's a cat lady there. So, let us begin. Wait, Bill. I'm okay. missing one of my. Dogs. I have a really stupid question. Like, we're gonna have to cut. Yeah. So, <laughs> when can I talk in my also. normal voice when I'm talking about what I want to do, oh, and when do I have to talk in my voice? Okay. Anytime if I'm gonna try and do a voice. Voices. Anytime that you want to talk really. to each other, guys. Here's how I would do this. Okay. Anytime you that you want to talk to each other, other day. Kinda. it should be like in your talk. character. Like, so if you're like, do this, do that, you know, if you're suggesting someone do something, that should be your character saying that. You should go like this. Now, if you want to ask a question to clarify, or if you want to think out loud about what you're doing, that's kind of meta. Okay. 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 It, but we it need should some be. Of this. We need it some should be meta. six individual. Like individual Individuals. people. See, this yeah. is hard because they get ideas like, and then I have to think about like, trying to communicate and like know, do their I thoughts. Know. But the they're also part in the game. Knowing like, how to individual. Say it. The more you do it, the easier it will be. All right, let's do it. I don't know how I got to the instruction. I literally was this close to just starting dying laughing. Skyla almost made me start just crying. Me? 
Yes, you have right. a really. So here we go. Feature. <laughs> you are covered in blood. Yeah. Everybody else is covered in blood, and, and there's a cat woman right next We're to you. We're changing. Well, I guess this um, answers the age-old question: How many mythological creatures does it take to kill a sack of demon babies? Am I right, guys? Okay. No, you know, no, you know. You know Hank the pig wrong. snorts in approval. He's like, <laughs> and then he he starts like rooting around in the garbage. And yeah. I just, I just like flash my dagger to so, Hank. So, uh, cat lady. Who she's gone. She oh. is gone. Oh, oh I, she's right there. Oh, she's right she's there. So I'm asking. Right so she just backflipped. So she just backflipped out of the cloud of daggers, but yes. she still is here. She okay, made her deck safe. Yes. She oh, jumped out of your cloud of daggers. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I got right, in here. Safe. Yeah, he's I'm ready. I'm uh, This is a, a group of. I think. I think you are. Uh, I'm the most important oh my, person. Um, That's all. Oh my goodness. Okay. And so. I just Arguable. like to welcome you and ask. We do not who have time for your for your small talk. We don't have time. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's like an attack. <laughs> Sorry. Introduce <laughs> so this is. You, I can't do this. Like, I can't. So, I can't. So now you're going to introduce yourself in your character. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't do this. <laughs> yes, you can. No, Rally. See, O'Malley, the other, the other day you just talked like a, you talked like your model UN voice. Yeah, that's like what you, I got. I got to do my model UN very, voice. You don't have to be like a <laughs> really oh, I like, I like your character's oh, voice. I no, I sound like an Italian <laughs> cab driver. <laughs> that <laughs> last one, the last one was last a little one. weird. It sounded like Robert De Niro. Just do your Yomi voice. I think it's awesome. I'm talking over each other. My ears are going to fall. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank uh, you, guys. Crimea River, build me a bridge. Get over. <laughs> let, her, let her introduce her character. Hello, I am Elore. I'm a Tabahi. All right, you Repeat? guys. Anybody? Anyone? Tabahi. Who, this is B. Ah, she's just speaking some different language. No, like that is not roll English. <laughs> anyone make a history roll? Feel free. D twenty. Should I make one? Do I have to? That was really if dumb. You, whether you have history or not. Make a D23. Did you just bounce that off the light on that one? I got a 20, Bill. Did you really? Really? Because yeah, I, I saw your have. fingers on the dice Plus when you picked history, it up. So I have 23. Okay. I have 13. Everybody else has failed. Wait, oh. history. I have 13. A 9. A 9. A 9. Where's history? A 9 is bad. Nine I got is, it. You're, you're like, I don't know. I got a 3. You're I got a 3. Very suspicious of the cat lady. Although, I got a 3. What does that mean? Wait, is she evil? Is she evil? Because I would know if she was evil. No. Um, you still Kahneman, think she's just lying. You immediately recognize that this is part of a race that is not commonly seen. Really? I'll tell you. It's, they're very uncommon. Like, to see one in your lifetime is How kind exotic. of special. Very exotic because they are not commonly seen in this like part of, of the region. Like in Kabul Kailash, there's no like towns or villages. All right. All right. So So I can see one with my woody band. Yes. Are there racist so towards them? What is what your you, what is your name? No. What is your what name? Are you, again? What are you doing? It'll just be like very it'd be like if you it'd be like if you <laughs> I'm gonna call you into uh, like an albino a, a, African American. Hey, like, are you a, are you a cat yeah. oh, yeah. Are you from are you a cat folk? No, wait, are she's you, not from around. Stop here, talking. Old man. No, listen, I remember a little stop bit. Talking. Stop, stop talking. Stop talking. High history role. These young so children, up, they just do don't it. understand. Stop talking. You old just stop talking. man. Shut up. You know nothing. You know nothing. Are you a cat folk of some type? Yes. What is your uh, your yeah. make? What is your makeup? What kind of uh, cat? Tabahi. Tabahi. What? You see that her markings are mostly like a. Her markings, like like stripes on a cheetah. Yeah, except. Where are they? Cheetahs like? literally don't. Know so she's tiger. like a tiger. Except <laughs> more tiger. tigerish. She's like a tiger. like orange or black <laughs> tigerish. Yes. That's, the, that's sick. Okay. I would. Okay. I would like to point out the only reason I know any of this is because I was gonna make one. You said no. <laughs> Stripes yeah, are you pointed that out last time. So I said no for a reason. Nephew. Pardon yeah. my uh, because I know everything. Friend. But uh, you know, I know that you guys really aren't from around here. So uh, what are you doing up here? If you don't mind me asking. Mm -hmm. I was sent to follow the black-headed people. Well, what so we can tell that we're all on a team. Uh, so why don't we just hurry up this little side chatter and like get to the guard? Well, you don't know who these people are, although you did I see did all them. Yes. So it would be very normal of you to want to know who they are and why they were fighting the black cloak people. Yeah. We can't tell you. Did, she didn't ask you yet. I just suggested that that would be something in character for her. Why were you guys following the black hooded figure? Because uh, he, <coughs> one of them attacked us, so we're 
finding out what it's all it's about. Not Vigilante justice. Yeah. Got hired by the. Uh, Just say city. it's not our place to say. It's, we who? can't talk. Jesus, you're. <clears throat> It doesn't matter. We were hired by the guards. You already said yeah. it. You already so said it, okay. Tony. Okay, so let's you go did to the not guard. know that the <laughs> guards in this town were aware of this. So okay. now, now you know. Wait, okay. time out. Mm. So what are your guys' names? Uh, Owen. Alexia. Cadman. Montrose. I'm away. I can't remember my real name, so I just said it back. Good call. That's, that is completely what a paranoid old man drag Wait, or sorcerer gets, would do. He gets, Good call. The, he gets inspiration what? points. No. Inspiration points. No. <laughs> nice <laughs> try, but no. Not yet. If he can yet. consistently do Yomi's well, voice all one. game, I will give him an inspiration. All right. You guys are sitting in this alley. Inspiration. Yes. Gotcha. Charlie you got one for you. Um, I'm not going to make you make a roll, but you see that there are three town guards walking past the alley. Mm. They are walking past. You know how, like, sometimes police officers escort a parade. Yeah. It's, it looks like kind of like that. Like they're just they seem bored and they're just like walking along with the parade. But two of them look over. And they look down the alley at you guys, covered in blood, and they're like, and they're like. And they call the other guy back, and the three of them are looking at you guys. I'm um, yeah, do I okay? Do I see them looking? Yeah, at us? yeah. You you see them. Um, they see you. Wait, you see them. Oh, I'm gonna pull out my. Uh, I, I have invisibility, I'm, but like, it's only for. I'm allowed by the, the guard person. to take care of things, and I'm gonna, like, cl very notably, like, put my scythe like on my back or whatever I okay, keep it, you sling it, and just uh, walk towards them with the paper out. Okay. And you walk up. You notice that they're, they have their hands on swords, but they haven't drawn them yet. And yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm the lead one walks up to you and he goes, what's that there? Why are you all covered in blood? What's happened? Uh, I, was, or, I was hired by the, the head guard to basically take care of an entity that has been a danger to everyone else. Um, and and we, need to we are hired our... by uh, the Captain Hendricks over at the yeah. West Gate. Let me um, see that. He looks over there and he shows it to the other guys. They look at it. They look at you. So what happened? Why are you all covered in blood? Uh, there had been these, I suppose, attacks um, with these people who are dressed in hoods, like all black. You can't see anything about them. Um, and we found one looking very suspicious, um, brought it into the alley uh, to interrogate it. Uh, and when we took off the hood to look at them, uh, it was a bunch of fiendish devils um, wrapped in a strange uh, bag. That was good. And so you killed them all? After they started to attack us, yes. But you see them like look down the, the alley and the, the original cloak is still there, like on the ground, okay. covered in blood. And then they're looking at you guys. Wait, because the other time... Are the are there dead bodies still there? There are pieces, yeah. Okay. Whatever wasn't cut off, but there are still pieces. Okay. And there's still, like, guts and blood. Okay. So Can I both? Disappeared yet? No. I'm going to turn back to you guys and say, pick up all the pieces, let's clean this up. And then we like, should escort you back to the gatehouse so you can explain all of this to the captain. Yeah, sounds like a plan. They, they seem less nervous, like they take their hands off their weapons, and they wait for you guys You get all your body parts and pieces together. Okay. Then you walk out the other side of the alley, like not into the parade of people. Okay. And they kind of escort you quickly, like you're walking, like speed walking. And about 10 minutes later, you get back to the gatehouse where you originally entered. Uh, they go in through like a side door, and you wait in this large room, <laughs> and there's like multiple benches. So they're like, there's just a have a seat. large rooms in this city. You guys sit down, and the captain comes in, and he's like, so, my men tell me that you had an encounter with them. Yes. What was it? Can you confirm what these things are? Or did they say anything? I don't know what they are. Nobody knows. Maybe they someone speak. here knows what they are? Uh, she knows. Who is she? She's got some foreign name. She's a name. new friend. But she, she I don't know if we'd call her a friend. She did also did not help us. She did. We help found us. her did. at the. Wait, how? 
she killed she one of them. She, Wait, how? She jumps down she and did. killed one of them. Our friend helped kill uh, one of the demon babies, and she seems to be very friendly, though we have just met her. Yes. What was your cause to be involved in this? Mm. I was sent to follow the black hooded figures because I have known about them from my hometown. Really? Mm. Wait, what? What is your hometown? <laughs> I don't believe What her. are they? Neely, do that thing. Roll insight if you don't believe her. Neely, do that thing. Yahtzee. Five. Dude, my rolls have been so bad. Plus now that I, now that I just because you're like, not blessing your dice. I told you. And you have yeah. to, because you I got hit with this like surprise. Can I I'm do some sure. insight on her? Yes. Yeah, you're surprised to hear this. Eighteen. Yeah. I think. So you're like, wait, what? And then you're looking at her and you're like, oh, she really seems to be telling the truth. Mm. Oddly enough. Do I know anything? Like, do I get any other insight about it at all? You don't. Well, you you don't know of any hometowns where so. they live. <laughs> that's, out, that's outside of your wheelhouse. Okay. But you do believe her. For all intents and purposes, you can, that you're like, you're like trying to discern if she's telling the truth. She seems to be truthful about this. Okay. All right. The captain's like, look, um, we can't have you walking around town in this fashion. Um, Through that door is a hallway. Down that hallway is the barracks. There are wash basins. Go in, wash up. And then after that, <clears throat> we're going to go to the Citadel and have a talk. I think that you need to share this information with the Archbishop because this is becoming a greater concern than I initially thought. I think it is too, but I think that only uh, expresses how important it is that we get right on the road to figuring out what this is. I would agree. So go quickly and wash. I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. <clears throat> so you guys go down the hallway, and indeed, there's a barracks. There's like you know guard beds and stuff, and there's a bunch of wash basins. So you guys wash off all the gore as best as you can. There's still some eyeballs left. Yeah, I mean they're they're you know you your clothing is not perfect, but you kind of do what you can. False. Me and Neely have an extra set of clothes. Yeah, we change. We're changing. All right. <laughs> so you guys clean up. What does that the go? captain sends an escort with you of six men. Yeah. Okay, and and all the all the like pieces of skin and guts and stuff that you guys collected are now in a crate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I I got it. Wait, do I have two of the same ones? All right. So you guys go yeah. across town, and you go to the far side of the temple district to another gate that connects to the citadel. And you see the citadel gate makes the temple gate security look weak. Okay. Like, there's no line of people waiting to go in, because nobody's going in. Okay. You walk up with the six guards that are escorting you, and one of them has a scroll. He hands it to the gate guard. The gate guard opens it up, goes in through a small door, and then the gates open. You guys go in, and none of you have ever been into the citadel district. Um, but there's a bunch of really nice buildings, and then towards the center of the city, you see the castle. And that is where His Holiness, Kor Pygambar, uh, and all of his family lives. And that's also where the highest ranking members of the theocracy live and work. Dude. So you guys are making your way to the castle. Yeah. Hey, hey. Teaching her, I'm teaching her how the D4 works. Okay, that's good. Um, <laughs> you make your way to the castle, and you get to the castle. You are brought into a parlor where you're waiting for an audience. And you, uh, the valet who brings you in asks if you guys would like any drinks or anything, you know, some, some food. And they bring back a bunch of different wines and ales and bread, cheese, some fresh fruit, and they lay it out there for you guys. Okay. And uh, he's, uh, he's like, the archbishop will be with you um, as soon as possible. Please feel free to uh, enjoy some refreshments. So I'm going to refresh, and Hank's going to refresh. Hank's Hank home. is not here. He, we, so they politely would have had Hank wait in the stables with horses and other things because exactly. pigs are not okay. allowed in the stables. Okay, uh, all right, fine. Uh, Yomi is going to get slammed before okay. we go and see whoever this is. No. Okay. He does not want to be here. Okay. But I'm not taking catech neutral, Matthew. So uh, you guys me and wait. Matthew are getting beers. You guys wait for about right 10 now. minutes. 
and a uh, you hear two oh, knocks at the door. Because we're staying where we staying tonight. You don't know who is it? Yes, we do know. We the the door is open, <laughs> and the valet opens the door, okay. and he's like, "Please stand." All right, we're standing. For yeah, the stand. Archbishop of Poitax yeah, Shahar. Stand up, come on. So you guys stand up. Um, you have to do this. A <laughs> regal, a regal man walks in, and he's a human, and he looks very old. <laughs> And he's got this enormous. All right, you can sit down. I'm sorry. Um, so that was the thing ever. He, that was, that was well, well played. You know what, Skyla, so you get an inspiration point. No, yes. she already has one. She already has one. Guys, one. I can't have oh, one. She already has one. She, no, she doesn't. Yes, she does. <laughs> Charlie got her one. I'm supposed to have one, right? Uh, yeah. Charlie got her one. I have one. Okay. What? <laughs> so um, here you go. The Archbishop comes in. He's an older human gentleman. He's wearing like Human. an elaborate gold and silver robe. Like it's gold, but it's trimmed with silver. And he's got like oh, vestments on. He's got like a rack of rings on each hand. He's got like I'm a medallion. Done. I'm done. He walks in One. and he sits down and he goes, greetings. Uh, I have been told that you have witnessed something that none yet so far in this past day or two have been able <laughs> To witness nor conquer, please tell me more about what you encountered with this mysterious black hooded individual. Well, I believe she knows more about him than we do, so she can well, explain. Well, well, let's let's tell him the Remember details. Remember, you of what do have your papers. See it like on your notes in the middle on the bottom, how it says your your papers of pedigree or whatever. Remember. Oh yeah, I have my scroll of pedigree. Yeah, you can present that. Hello. Hello. I have my scroll of pedigree. Cat. He's like, ah, oh, we are honored, my lady. You are a guest. <laughs> He's like, you are a guest. <laughs> He's like, you are I a guest. I can prove I am a guest. Yes. <laughs> he, he produces a small chalice of catnip for you. Be, be our guest. No. Um, so he. I'm going to cry. <laughs> so he, he's like, tell me. From your perspective uh, yes. to the east, do you know what these creatures are or why they are doing this? I'm not sure why they are So this is the point at which you can reveal your information. Can one of you bring me some pizza? Yeah, help the, me. <laughs> the bottom of this sheet is what you know about these creatures. Can you please bring All right, you guys better listen. How do you say this word? I'm going to slap you upside the head. How do you say this word? I'm ruining my game. I wouldn't really do that because you're how a student. Do you, how do you sell this? <laughs> how do you say I'm this word? Uh, you say it how you would say it as your character. All right, <laughs> Sam, Sam has important information. Can I paint this? a word? <laughs> OK, so these are Kazil EBCs. These are wild creatures who appear to be small red demons. Many believe they are sent by Depa to create chaos throughout Nupo Otmi. They are unorganized and mischievous in nature, typically stealing wealth from anyone regardless of affiliation. They can be violent when threatened. Who's a Depa? So what are they doing Vepa here? Or whatever that so Deepa is. Deepa. Okay, so Deepa is the Earth God. Mm. What have we done to anger the Earth God? We have done, we have done nothing. We honor all of the gods here. Well, in obviously Protect there's Chahar. some sort of issue because they don't just show up. Well, 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 we don't know that. They said they were wild in nature. What did well, they then say? Then why would they congregate here? If they're unorganized in nature, why are they? They, they why are they like Listen. systematically Shh. lining up in like Can districts? You how about you? Uh, you repeat it. Unorganized please. things don't just do that. Could you I think it's a little suspicious. You have made a superb point, Forrest Gnome. Can you kill us? I think it is very suspicious that they are coming here. I don't know if it's because the gods sent them here. I don't know if it's because someone maybe has a hold on them and is sending them here instead. Or just luck. There's definitely some greater power here at work. But what we do know is they are bad, and there are probably going to be more attacks in the future. So we should do something about it. Four is now the number, correct? Yes. One, sure. which you dealt with mm -hmm. yes. earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The two from this morning in the other districts. Mm -hmm. And now yes. this one that you have 
defeated so far. Yes. Yet there are two more districts which could be in jeopardy. There totally could be. So <laughs> you're right. I think you're we right. should right. hurry up this and get to protecting those. <laughs> I am disturbed by the fact that these creatures are, in fact, seeming to be more organized. For in the wild, according to the lore that I am familiar with, Can I just go they would be found and... more in nature. Can I make a history check to see if I know anything about Anyone this who in wants past? to make a history I want to get insight on this guy. Or nature check. Okay, I want to get insight on the Archbishop. Four. Ask a question. I, mean, yes. I, might, I might as well. I got a two. For, seven for nature. I got. What is that? Oh, 19. Mm, 16. Mm, 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 I got a 14. I got a 19. What are we doing? 19. 19. Yeah. She got a 19 Inside for this. I got a 19 for, for I got Please 20. bring me pizza. I got 19, but I got a history. Okay, Wait, say history? You want. History, I got so 16. 21. 20. And then what's and then the other one I'm rolling for? Please. Oh, nature. I didn't roll for nature. Oh, nature. And then nature. Why are we rolling nature? Nature of nature, the guy. I got six. I got 16. No, nature is like wild. One, are you I kidding me? I got 21 me? for nature. I rolled a one, three, a five. No, and nature, so nature oh. is like oh, being so in the so wilderness. Sad. I thought we were just talking about okay. nature. Okay, who got a 15 or higher Jesus. in history? Okay. All of you guys, <laughs> as he's talking nature. about this, you realize that you you have heard like of it in... Not so much history, but more like mythology. Mm -hmm. You heard about yeah. a time period mm -hmm. on the continent when there were volcanoes. Okay. Oh, and the volcanoes possible. were basically representative of the earth being angry <gasps> and that there were little demons that came from volcanoes. Like now, cats. there aren't any volcanoes on the island. So where there haven't been, from? like in thousands of years. Do you know but there's about mythology about it. Okay. Okay. So that's number one. Who made the nature checks of fifteen or higher? I made twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. So 21. nature, 21. nature-wise, you you get the sense that if these are in fact creatures who are produced or motivated by Deepa, the the Earth God, that it would be strange for them to be here in Kabul okay. Kailash, mm -hmm. because Kabul Kailash is leans towards Rusake, the water goddess. Mm. There are other areas on the continent that are more devoted to Earth. So if they're Ooh. coming from other areas? And they're sending them is here? No, I think they would be going to Earth areas instead of oh, coming Oh, instead of here. coming, they're so, going from... No, they're coming to, like, we worship, this place that we're in worships the water god. Yeah. They er worship the Earth, Earth God, God, so if the so Earth God was mad, it? he'd be sending it there saying, oh. like, you guys are messing this up. Mr. Bishop, Keep going, like, right. work harder. Good sir, have, are you at war, or do you have any conflict with any um, neighboring uh, kingdoms that worship the Earth God, Deepa? We have not, Kabul Kailash has not had any war in... Uh, 400. <laughs> Scores of years, but almost a century. Listen, Mr. Art, Art Bishop, sir, I need you to tell me, do you know of any, even like underground, like kept quiet conflicts between Kabul Kailash and like any Earth Kingdoms? Because we might really be at stake here if they have the power he's, to send these creatures here. He begins thinking, he's like, uh, well... He's like, no, I, I can't think of anything. Kill him with a dagger. Well, nonetheless, I have an idea. You seem to have somehow found a means of preventing these attacks. Mm -hmm. And if there is, in fact, a system, which it would seem to be happening one by one throughout the districts, so that could signify that this could be happening in the Citadel at any time today. Yeah. When we first received the news earlier, we, on behalf of His Holiness, we asked a friend of the theocracy to investigate this. He is an experienced investigator. He just recently returned from scouring the, no the Citadel what District. What did he say? And he might have some news. What is the news? Valet. Would you bring in Rayloff, please? 
Put your microphone on. So a blue-skinned tiefling you have to untuck your comes shirt. in. Oh no! And um, the blue-skinned tiefling comes in. He's very well dressed. Hi. Very well dressed. He looks like. And very um, <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight on whether I trust this guy at all in okay. any way. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get this. Eleven. Wait, the new we... guy or the archbishop? The yes, blue needs... guy. Okay. The blue guy comes in. He looks very official. Yeah. I'm Do we all? He know? looks. He looks very official, and he looks very, like, um, confident. He, he walks in and does, like, a short bow to the archbishop, and the archbishop invites him to join at the council table. You. Rayloff, you, earlier this morning, were investigating around the citadel. These uh, brave citizens had also run into some incidences with the black-cloaked individuals oh, that we've goodness. been alerted to. However, they fought one. And uh, this is Olin. He can explain to you what they encountered Hi. and how they defeated it. Hello, Olin. Hi there, uh, Rayloff. <laughs> so, essentially, we got these, there's these black hooded figures. Mm -hmm. I think you might yeah. know about them. I do, I sure do. Um, and <laughs> Uh, do you know anything else about them? No, not at all. Uh, so basically, we got one, uh, brought it into an alley away from citizens, um, mm -hmm. and interrogated it. Uh, and when we took off his cloak, it was a weird sack of baby demons. I'm sorry? And we and, got attacked. But they are actually these mm -hmm. creatures sent by the Earth God. Okay. Um, which is. Can you elaborate deep. on what these. Demon baby thing. Um, they look like demon they baby. They are help. actually they called little red Tony's babies. Like, Come on, dude. They were babies Quizzle that were red. Oh, Do you want me to explain the, the baby? Okay. Quizzle Iblis. Yes. Explain yeah, like why I, that. You want me to explain so, babies? I don't. I don't know if I like black this with red eyes. Oh my god. That's it. That's my heart just stopped. Now. Okay. That's cool. Good. Black. We caught up. Yes. So. Oh, they were red. I propose. I propose the following. Same thing. As you are already under the employ of the theocracy, I would have Rayloff uh, join you, as he is quite familiar with the Citadel <laughs> and its layouts, as well as the bureaucratic buildings. What we must avoid at all costs is for any further loss of life or damage. Yes. If you can find out where at these things costs. are coming from. Which we will do right now. We gotta go fast. Very well. <laughs> So I grant you leave, and please return with any information that you are able to discover. Will do. So you guys... Grand time meeting you, Bishop. You guys all head out. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Actually, Very cool. he like stands, that. you all stand, and then he bows low and he walks away. Yeah, good job. I'm not standing, I'm not doing it. And then, then you guys leave, okay? Now, right. you're out on the street, okay. outside of the castle, and there are a bunch of different bureaucratic buildings. The streets are not empty, but they're nowhere near as crowded. Now it's like mid-afternoon. The like, streets are not empty, oh, yeah. but they're nowhere near as crowded, okay. you guys, as like the other districts where all the pilgrims are and stuff like this. So you see pretty much everybody in this district either looks like they're in the military or the priesthood or some kind of noble. Like they all look very well-to-do or very put together, okay? Can I get up high? You can. There are plenty just, of buildings to climb. Just to be able to like watch everything. Okay. okay. Make a climb check. That's athletics. I just passed. 14. Okay. Good enough. You make your way die. up. No. Phil, okay, cool. do we know of any like very holy uh, Deepa places? So you know. Actually, what? you don't, but you do. Rayloff knows this place? that in the citadel. There are four small temples, one to each of the gods and goddesses, that are primarily only open to like the diplomats from other countries and to members of the theocracy, like the bishops and, and that kind of stuff, and then high-ranking members of the military. So they're very nice, but they're not huge because they're not open to the public. They're kind of more, I would call them like 
church size. So they're not like a cathedral. They're like a modest size. Would temple. I ever suspect like there's more layers to the place than just like a little church? Yes. Roll. Of course. Like there's definitely like, it goes like crazier. Um, are you talking about this with Rayloff? Uh, do you know anything about the temple of Deepa? Oh, so much. It yeah, in fact, you know that because it's the temple of the Deepa, uh, almost every old building has some form of cellar. Yes, of course. There's and, a cellar. And partially because it's the temple of Deepa, there's almost always uh, like an earth, a connection to earth. Connection. So even if they have a stone building, they usually have some kind of like like pit or cellar that has like solid dirt. These creatures aren't just going to attack different um, different cities because two gods are at war. They also go there to steal to steal wealth from people. So we should try to find places that have the most money and figure out what they are trying to steal from that destination. Why? <coughs> Sounds great. Like what is it? Because they they like to steal wealth from anyone regardless of any affiliation. Okay. So no matter what god they praise to, they want to steal their money. Will we have access to the treasury? Oh uh, yes, we you yeah. all of it. Rayloff has a uh, a scroll and you see the wax um stamp stamp what, what do you call it seal like seal yeah. yeah has the stamp of um uh, of his holiness or so he's he's basically he can, it's like a search warrant for anything yeah okay nice <laughs> <laughs> um, all right let's check out the treasury Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Matthew, we're doing it. So the treasury is actually back inside the castle. Well, let's get back in there. Okay. So you guys go back through the gates. <laughs> like cool. You're walking into the interior of the castle. Mm -hmm. You go down a hall, and there are like 15 guards. Oh. And they're like, greetings. What can we do for you today? It's me, Rayloff Halfbeard. I have to get to the treasury, please. Thank you. Uh, that's not really a normal part <laughs> of the Trimical. castle that we allow access to. It's all right. To. I'm Rayla Pass He's here. like, I'm so a big you, deal. You roll yeah. persuasion. Okay. I'm kind of a big deal. All right. What's my persuasion Don't again? Don't even worry about Oh, yeah, plus seven. I have to roll it, too. Uh, 15 plus that. seven? 22. Yeah. He's like, let, let, me, let me see that. He looks at it. He's like, all right, you're not going in there alone, though. Oh, we can't trust anyone in the treasury. But we'll we'll escort you in there for a brief look. You don't have to we'll talk one on, though. That's like a plan. I so, know. you guys, there are like six locks on this door. Okay. And he unlocks all the... No. Like, he's one of six people who has a key. So oh. they all have to unlock oh. it, and then they open sometimes. the locks, and then you see, like, this guy come over, and he's like... And then the door's like, it glows, and then it stops glowing, and then the door opens. Fantastic. You walk into a room that is stacked. stacked. The first thing you see is a wall of gold. And then you're like, wait, that's not a wall. It's just a stack of gold bricks that's as tall as a wall, and it oh goes for like 100 feet. Invisibility. Do we, wait, I'm sorry. I know no meta moments, but real quick, just because I just got here. Yeah. Do we like to steal things? What's like our... People uh, might. <laughs> now, before I you do that, remember that there's a high, powerful <laughs> magic person okay, but who's also, literally I mean, walking right behind all of you guys, but, yeah. like staring you I down. I could handle it, probably. He looks like the kind of person who could probably kill you with one spell. But I'm just, I, I wanted to I throw that out. Yeah, but what do I look like? An old you look man, like an yeah, old, lady. cranky dragonborn man. You are. You're an old, cranky man, Matthew. Maybe if this character dies, you can come back as a cat person. <gasps> oh, maybe if you... Let me I'll kill him. No, I'll kill him. I'll kill him, bro. I'll do it. I don't want you to do this. All right, no more meta moment. I'm sorry. All right, so you guys are walking through the treasury. What do you do? You see, by the way, it's not just gold. There are shelves and shelves and shelves of silver coins, copper coins, oh. electrum, Platinum, gold what do coins, I have right now? and then there's a whole other section is there of gems, section? and the gems are locked inside of cases. Is like there... imagine like the royal 
jewels, like all that stuff. Ooh. Mm. There are crowns, there are scepters. Give me some of that. Is there any, like, Ooh, I would, I, would I know if there's any very, like, religious artifacts in here? Yes. Um, I'm Everything gonna go to that you just section. walked by. I'm going to go to over, that section. Okay, you guys walk over to, there are two Ooh. large display cases. Oh, okay. Very large. And there are guards standing around them. And you get within like five feet and they're like, yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> and they're like, all right. That's close all enough. All right, I'm going to try and look. I just one you step can look, but no touching. <laughs> all of this <laughs> glass is warded. Look, if you touch. touch it, you will be electrocuted. Okay. That's what Please. I say to this I don't believe voice. that. So inside the glass, you that. see <laughs> a crown with one of the biggest, what you assume, what's what's the greenest gem that you Emerald. Could, emerald. Like the biggest like a, like a green, em Sorry, it's like this like big, right? Yeah, like if okay. you were wearing this crown on your head, the emerald would be this big. It's massive. Yeah. Stupid That'd be crown. so dumb. dumb. Hat. <laughs> Just saying. That's something that you you notice. You also you see another. Don't we have emeralds? Didn't we get an emerald from that man? You, you, yeah. Yeah. Like little. Little ones. Yeah. Little so baby. you see another. Um, what looks like a holy relic, but it's not a crown. It looks like a scepter, and there's on top of it is a huge blue gem. That's cool. Now, Sapphire. these are not in the same the case. They're in two case. separate cases. Okay. Okay. They're surrounded by like velvet, right? Like they're, you know, on the shelves, it's like velvet. Yeah, like very, very well padded. There's like pillows underneath them, right? They look very old and very finely crafted. Yeah, okay. 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 You okay. also see, you also see in a third cabinet, you see a medallion. And the medallion is, is enormous and it has this pure white crystal in the middle that's about fist size. Like opal? Like, you're not sure if it's diamond or opal. Like if it's, di it looks like a diamond physically, but it's got the coloring. It's like milky white Isn't coloring. Isn't it like the of brighter it is, diamond. the clearer like yes. the cool. diamond it is? So it's, it doesn't, it's got a cut like a diamond, but the color and the, the interior like. Don't match the diamond. Yeah. It's, it's not like anything you've ever really seen. And all three of these things are in separate I'm cases. I'm gonna say like, wow, that one's real interesting. For the guards. He's like, I just keep thinking of dragon tail. Does he? Didn't they have this? Yeah, uh, I guess it'd be interesting the Next first time you mean. saw it, but if you had to sit here for four hours a day, every day of your life, after a while, it becomes not interesting. Well, it's our first time. Can we get a closer look, please? You can't touch the glass. That's all right. Can I, I turn touch into it. a bug? You can go right up <gasps> into it. Can you turn into it. a bug? Yeah. Yes. Like if I was to like become a fly it's in the wall? You would, you would like, like, like go like... You ever seen a bug zapper? She can't fly. She can't fly. Oh, okay, Skylar's dead. Does he know about like history about the gods? I know quite a lot of history about the gods. He knows a little bit. So if you have religion, you guys can make a religion rule. Would, oh, I do have religion. Would any of us know like if I have one. the the god Depa has like a favorite jewel or anything? Jewel? What are we doing here? We're trying like, to figure out if there's something like this. Because if she had one, then she would so want protect. to. Okay. Kind of wait, 14. What, wait, I'm maybe kind of, not for kind of 13. Maybe we need to be looking for something from the eight. water god. Vusaic. Maybe the water god I have a good has relationship something that the him. earth god wants. But the correct That's thing. what I was thinking, because like if she has like her favorite jewel, or like an emerald or yeah, something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like if the water god not, had... Not the use can, I roll, can I roll for history to see if I um if there's like any kind of like folklore about maybe the water god and the earth god, like something like old, like maybe a gem they had or... I, I would say if you want to roll religion, I can give you more information about okay. that. Because this would definitely be... I already rolled. And see, this is a good D&D &D point, guys. I got a five. A lot of people would just skip the religion. 16. There you go. I have plus three in religion, so I have a 19. Nice. Okay. Anybody else get over a 15? No. Oh, this I is, guess we're, I guess this we're is kind this. of some deeper religious eight. lore. No, oh, whatever. 13. I got so 11. I, <laughs> okay. You, you know <laughs> that the four gods are based on the elements. Right. Okay. And that Kabul Kailash is... is um, they, they venerate those four gods, but that Usaik, the water goddess, is kind of like their preferred because the leader of the theocracy, like the pope, 
mm -hmm. right? Kor Pygambar, this dragonborn. He's like basically the emperor of this thing, right? He's the leader of the theocracy. And his title is the chosen of water because it's, it's said that Vusaik granted him her power, like her, her wisdom and her power to lead. So in a way, the capital, you know, if you had to pick a favorite, their favorite would be Vusaik. But there are other temples and shrines and churches to all of the other right. gods. Right, so I'm not asking about them specifically. Mythologically speaking, you know that the, the notion was that the island, the continent that you're on, New Wolf Opai, was created by all four of the gods. Earth, uh, wind, fire, and water. Okay. Okay. They all came together to make this. Wow. Um, anybody would also know that the gods protect the island because you can, while you can go out into the ocean, you, you can go out into the ocean, you cannot get any further than 10 miles. The world ends 10 miles off the coast really? in any direction. Really? Yeah. Really? Any ship that's ever tried to go beyond it never returns. Mythbusters? Let's do it. Okay, I'm just throwing it out We there. should go sailing. That's something that you guys it's know. Fun. So mythologically speaking, you know that the four gods worked together to make the continent. However, you have also heard rumors that before the continent, there was one god. Jesus Christ. And the one god was the god of the void. <laughs> and that god, nobody knows whether that's uh, what gender that god is, but that, that void god was Taik. So, your... Uh, and there's no, there are no temples to Taik, by the way. There's no, like, there are no worshippers of Taik. Nobody says prayers to Taik. Poor Taik. Rip solo. So this is all stuff that you would have gathered lore Can as a bard along so like, the way. You know, but like Taik, he wouldn't have any reason to like strike, would he? And he wouldn't be able to use. No, nobody has seen any level. evidence of Taik. Because t basically, Taik is like what happened before the world was created. Uh, Bill, can you blink twice? I'm supposed to like interrogate, like want to investigate this. He's never Taik gonna thing blink. More. All right, yeah, the rest okay, of the cool. episode. I just wanted to make sure. So I'm gonna you're, wander you're around like, looking at all the gems, just grazing. Yeah. Okay, so me like too, I said, you see three artifacts. Just yeah. soaking it all. I feel like I'm gonna get or, drawn to what one. I mean by one with the crisp, the a green artifact. crystal. Okay, green. Earth. One, one with a blue crystal. Water. Water. And one with that kind of white crystal. Milk. This. <laughs> the <laughs> element of milk. Light. Yes. Air. Uh, yeah. So then, what oh. are when you missing? when you say holy relics, that's the those are the display cabinets that are very highly protected by the guards. Okay. The other stuff is more like financial wealth, uh, like crown jewels. Yeah and uh, coins, like literally, like this is, it's not the mint, but it's the treasury. You're literally in the room where the kingdom's wealth is. Okay. Wow. So basically we gotta get all this out of here, is what you're saying. But we can't. Because they're just gonna come it. and take it. Look, so any one of these guards would yeah. be able to castrate you from like 30 feet away with a dagger. So they're all they're all good with their daggers. They're all like really <laughs> better than me. <laughs> We're just yeah. around with like You're the there because gems. you guys wanted to check That's out the so treasury good. because there was a suspicion oh. that if these are little demons, like she said, who pursue wealth, that here. this might be one of the targets. I feel like I should be drawn well, should we to wait something here, then? because I'm with nature should we and they're like the elements. You know what I mean? Like the... We should cause some trouble. Do we I? should do something cool. So it's supposed to be... I'm down. Can she uh, roll she like a... Um, Make an arcana roll. Yeah. Yeah, I have one for arcana. Cool. We could take him out. Nine. 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 I get Potentially, sort of I could feeling. seduce at least Ask two. Ask your of little them, man. But no more than two. Especially does he? Under, it's six thirty. We haven't fought anyone no. yet. So you. I got a nine. You you feel reverence you're in a really sense when you're over by those those special objects. Yeah. But in in the same way that anybody else would like, oh, that's it's amazing. And I've never seen anything like it. But nothing like supernatural or metaphysical. You know well, what I'm Is Jaquan with you? Because if he is, he's I'm invisible. Sorry, who? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's invisible. Are he's you behind. asking him? He's yeah. behind. He's I can talk to him his, telepathically. His, uh, Are you asking him telepathically? Yeah, dragon. He does. Yeah. He's straight out of X Men. Real he, cool he, nature. He's like, there is nothing here for us. Is that the dragon voice? So let's go. Dang it. Okay. He blows fire at your face. Because I think that's 
Well, let's think, guys. What did what did all the other spots have in common? Maybe there's something we're missing. Large groups of people. Yeah. Large so groups of people. The city is divided up into six districts. Yeah. That were Four there. of them have had attacks so far. Oh, okay. Of what? Of the these black hooded creatures no, guys, what is who that explode. Gathering Nothing's been oh, Tell us well. Sometimes they're just like, like violence. Attacks. Maybe they just want cool. violence. I got it. Maybe we should just be looking for spots with the biggest celebration. Please. Stop they've doing that. they've <laughs> they've attacked a parade. Yeah. yeah. They've attacked like yes. a large gathering of people at a concert. Yes, they have. A really During this big gathering, it has where to be a concert cut short in its prime. Yeah. That's what we should it's, look for. It's brilliant. We should set a trap. So we should, should send let's Jaquan set a out to try where like, there's a large I mean, group. I let's set a trap. Too. Well, I changed we have my a bear trap. Yeah, yeah like, but like. No, 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 not a bear trap. I say we put on a show, we gather a yeah. crowd, but we have it positioned so Ooh, well that we can we shut down this, these terrorists Dang. before yeah, they actually attack. The problem of course, is. Carl's we are not allowed to have any. The problem is we're not allowed to have any. Carl's bottled up all of his good ideas. He's like, yeah. We're done. No, all right. Carl, the problem with that is we already captured one of them, and after we captured one of them, they just started attacking us until we killed them. Yeah. So like, you can't really also. We got the power No, 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 no. Also, Carl. Didn't you say something about them being Ray Law? Yes. We're not allowed to Remember use any uh, like shows of public yeah. violence in this town because it's a very they holy. They had to like kill like, this thing in an alley. Yeah, we so, literally so killed if it in the I back. I like of got in a fight with someone. Oh, that's like, bad. Like, like that is unheard yeah. of in this town. Okay. It is the holy, holy like hot. We, we have magic spells. So we can do something. As like you that. guys are talking we'll about this, the the head guard that like gave you the tour, he's like, "Are <laughs> we finished here now?" Let's, yeah, let's, let's move on. Yeah, I think we're good. So he, he so takes you guys. Can I remind them to be vigilant just in case? Yes. We, we have been told by the Archbishop uh, Shahar that we must be vigilant that there might be incidences. We, the, the entire citadel is on like high alert. If you need anything, just look for my pig. It's loud. Right. Just in court. So are you flirting? You guys are escorted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was, that was, that was me. You were escorted out exactly. of the treasury, okay. down the hall, out of the citadel past the drawbridge, and now you're in the district still. Um, what time is it? It's like well, 5 p.m. No. Um, okay. There's not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. What season is it? Is it still light out? It's, um, it's it is fall, but remember that you're in a Mediterranean it's like climate. Fall. So oh, it's still like warm. It's it like 70 cold? degrees. It's nice. Oh. Remember when it was 70 degrees uh, instead of cold, Neely? I like the cold. <laughs> Bill, do we have any <laughs> weird inkling towards the next step in our adventure? Yeah. Yeah. Blink? Bomb. Yeah. Bomb. yeah. Bomb. You do. Yeah. Can I roll bomb? for that inkling? He knows. Sure. You what? Know. Fifteen. It's what the note you, you gave him. You think that several good yes, ideas have been no. presented. Number one, you, you could go investigate a temple. We can go Number two, you right could have a adventure. show and see if it just attracts one of these things. And then see what happens there. My show's uh, that's so risky. I want to do that. Yeah. I it's just that sounds like right? fun. We've been sitting around like looking if at like you're going to be here, I stuff. guess. I don't care. Uh, Let's do the show idea. I Let's do it. Let's jam. People have been yeah. asking yeah. Skylar to sing yeah. in the comments. Rayloff no, plays a wicked like a flute. Thing. I play a Someone wicked flute. Get off to that. Nobody has sung the flute. I'm still waiting for my flute. I feel weird that some weird guy is I want something Okay, hey, shh. Too much talk over schizophrenia. So. Um, I want to know what you're doing, yeah, we'll and I don't mean to. Tony. I don't mean to just give you a choose your own adventure with two options, but in the interest of time. All right, team, let's choose our own. Do you adventure. want to go to a temple or do you want to have a show? A let's have a show. Uh, let's talk about let's pros and cons. Let's pick an element. Show. Pick an element. Who wants to have a show? The milky one. I want to do the milk element. The milk element. I want to inspect the temple. That's four. How about this? How about you go have a show on the street outside of a temple while some of you guys investigate the temple? That yes. sounds yeah. like a beautiful the perfect plan. Yes. Perfect plan. The earth element. God, we'll okay. go in the temple. So three, you three temple, are going yes. to the temple. Party boys. Uh, you guys are party the boys. Show. Let's wrap it up. Let's do it. Um, Catwoman, are you going to participate in the show or are you going to go up on the roof? I'm going to go to the roof. Okay, here's sure? what I need. People doing the show, you roll to climb the roof. Make an athletics roll. 16. Good. Now make a stealth roll so you can hide on the roof without anybody seeing you. Okay. Where's my 24. pizza? 24. 24. my pizza? You climb up the roof, you find a spot right behind a chimney, and you could see the temple and all the streets that intersect near it and the spot where they're setting up. We should start gathering a crowd. You, you, and you, Skyla, make a performance roll. Tony, make a performance roll. Raylock, make a performance oh. roll. 
Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, 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 not great. Eleven. 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 But I have a plus four, so it's a twelve. Okay. Oh, not Scala, great. One thing you could do is add your inspiration. Okay. Can I add my inspiration? Bill? Yeah, you guys should okay. do that. You could inspire her. Okay, so then. Right. Right. Can she inspire she me? She could double inspire. So bards? roll again. Oof. And if it's Big higher, one. take That's the higher number. No, it's the same thing. <laughs> How about me? Can I roll? Can she inspire me? She's not a bard. You can oh, inspire okay. her yeah, and she no. can add, no, a, add a, a, a uh, dice. She can add a die. Okay. Roll a um, d6. Do it. Just hurry up. And add that to your number. No, we've been playing for No, it's the square. Uh, so long. <laughs> and no fighting. You guys are lightweights. Bill, I, miss, I can't do this much role playing. The second weekend in December, I, I will be playing D&D &D for 30 hours. She got, she hours she got a thing. Really Congrats. Really Congrats. Good. All right, you guys start jamming. Pay attention. Okay. You guys are playing. A crowd begins to join, and they're following along. Who's ready for the best holiday festival? <laughs> In Poitex Shahar. In Poitex Shahar, that you guys have never had. Yes. We got our cool blue guy on the flute. <laughs> That's Rayloff. It's Rayloff. We got Alexia over here on Four people begin to drift over towards you guys, and they're like listening. Four people. Meanwhile, you guys go into the temple. Okay. The Temple of Deepa is a very old stone structure, right? Imagine like stones that were all shapes and size. It almost yeah. looks crappy, but you also know that it's like, it's been around for a while. It's like nice stone. Bring it down like a little bit. I'm out there now. Yes, it's old nice stone. So you go into this temple and you notice that it's kind of got a strange layout. There's no upper level. It's one floor. And it's, it kind of goes down into a circle, uh, like a stage almost. Like, it's like a theater. Yeah, like you go in cool. and there's seating all the way around and the stage is at the bottom, except instead of it being like it's a wood around, stage, yeah. it's dirt. It's like pole cat. And you see there's like a priest down there and he's like burning exactly. incense People and he's fight. picking up sand and he's, pu he's pouring the sand out of his hand in one hand and then he picks up sand and he pours the sand out of his other hand. Can I please that one? Can you plug in my <laughs> so you see one priest in there, no one else. You guys come in, and he turns to look at you, and he's, he gets up off of his knees. And he's like an older dwarf, and he's like, Greetings. Are you here to venerate Deepa? Uh, yeah. Join me in the circle. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Feel your connections to the earth. And he puts his hands in the earth, and he bows down, and puts his forehead to the earth, and he begins like, Muttering a prayer into Warbish. I'm not going to do that. Well, I but, think I speak <laughs> um, I'm going. I'm going to very suspiciously speak, look oh, around gosh. this place to see if there's anything. Roll. Anything else? Roll. What, would I, what am I? Roll, roll investigation. Anyone who's in there who back. wants to roll investigation. I'm not, we're not in there. Yes, yeah, you are. You, are. you went with them. Where do I roll a d20? What is it? Ooh, Matthew with a 19. Coming up clutch on the investigation room. I'm going to roll again, okay? What'd you have, Peter? I got a 13. 12 Thank you, plus what is this for? Investigation. What's your investigation bonus? 15. 15. Yes. Die or die coke. Okay, 15's not bad. We're sharing, we're sharing. You're uh, looking zero. around. It's water. Uh, you're looking around, yeah. and you notice that, like I said, there's no upstairs to this place, but right. you do notice there's like a little, a small door. Almost like imagine the bottom yeah, row like of chairs. Yeah. There's like a hatch yeah. that goes under. Through the back. Okay. But it's closed. Okay. You. Yes. You see the same hatch that she's looking at. You notice a muddy footprint. Um, like a muddy set of footprints. Like somebody was standing on the wood bench next to that hatch. And then like climbed up. And then maybe climbed down. Well, when I say muddy, I mean imagine somebody stepping in mud and then like straight on. Like yeah. well, I want to let Plunk. That's how funny. close am I to uh, Olin and uh, Mantra? You're like this. Close. You're really close. And hey the guys, dwarf that priest bench is over like there. 20 feet down. That, that bench over there Are is kind of muddy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that bench over there is kind of muddy. Maybe someone was standing on that and you was using the hatch to go up or down. We should check that out. I'm gonna go very non. 
The priest looks up and he's like, <coughs> he goes back to his prayers. I'm, this isn't to you guys, this is to the DM. Yeah. I'm going to go very nonchalantly, make my way over and Good to word. that. Bench. Yeah, I'm okay. going to follow up. Strong word choice. Okay, you guys go down. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to so, look like I'm still doing something for the priest. The, the priest, okay, so um, I'm going to have you do a deception roll. Because you're kind it's a of. D twenty. Yes. Look up your deception skills first before you throw a dice in the air. Mm. Plus five. Oh, good. All right, roll. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're kidding. You know why? Because you did that stupid roll. If you were to roll that like a man, watch. A ten. Really? 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 Like Just roll it like a dice. One. One, again. one again. Wait, no, 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 it's fixed. It's fixed. You know it's fixed. The gods don't like you. Come All right, here. come here, Nelly. Give me the dice. <laughs> Matthew, roll the one. <laughs> Matthew, suck the Matthew, 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 38 seconds. I did I just roll it too. Three, okay. Four, Shh, five. Quiet. Stop re rolling. Wait, can we have intermission? No. Shut up. I have to go pee. No, hold it. I have to pee too. Too bad. Pee in your cup. All right. You guys go over by that that uh, footprint. You see the footprints look about dwarven sized. You also notice that the priest is barefoot. Uh, um, are we the only people in there? Yes. Okay. Uh,. I'm gonna say to the priest, that hatch up there, what's what's in there? Oh, that's just where we keep candles, incense, uh, prayer Shimmer. robes. Mm-hmm. Is there, I can, I'm gonna get some insight on it. Yeah, please Thank do. You. Me too? Yeah, sure. Five, god damn it. Okay, someone else roll Is it insight. a d20? Mm-hmm. Lose sight damage. Is that a nine? Bill, so wait, uh, is what? the priest the only guy up in this in this area? He's the only guy there. You're standing right next to him. I'm, They're talking to him. I'm going to just 13. sleep. 13. Oh, Matthew. I'm going to just put him down. Oh my Good God. Yes. This is a priest. I love this. Tony, <laughs> carefully lean back and hand me a player's handbook from the bottom. No, Roll I a have, bunch of uh, uh, D's. Wait, if you're what is it? For sleep? Uh, uh, sleep, sleep, sleep. 90 foot, 508, 5d8 equals just number. Just roll 5d8 then. That's fine. When were, when were D8. We just whispering to each other. Nice. And add them up. As athletic okay. as cute. Okay. Six. Yep. <laughs> 10. Yep. 18. Yep. 23. You're good at math. 27. How are you doing? That's good. 33. Unbelievable. 33 out of 40. That's pretty good. That's it. He sleeps. Uh, You guys are going to catch him. You guys are talking to him. He he was already (laughs) on his knees praying, so he just 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 face plants into the sand. (laughs) Slept. We're like, we're like, Uh, sleep. Do I know Matthew? Oh, sleeping. Yeah. Wait, okay. This is how he does okay. it. Okay. Pause. Sleep. You guys, you're outside at your concert, right? <laughs> What's our crowd Sleep. looking like? Your Sleep. crowd has increased. Cool. There are Sleep. about 26 Sleep. people there now. We can get more. We yeah, can get come more. Yeah, come on, guys. Um, you guys are performing. <laughs> Sam, roll perception. All right, let's take it down. Performing. <laughs> I got a five. Can I roll again? You see, you're looking down the streets. You don't really see people coming or going, but you see the majority of people that are in the area have now gone over towards the street performers. Oh, Bill, you know what was? Down. Was the five Back to you guys. You're inside the temple. Ah, okay. I'm, so fast. I'm going to actually we just damn, position we his head so his forehead was touching the ground, and he looked like he was praying. And yes. for some weird reason, if he woke up, he'd be like, Superb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I support. Okay. okay. Now what? That was good. Now what? Um, I'm going to go open that hatch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of you guys guard the door. You open Make the hatch. I'll guard the door. I'm the least athletic. And okay. you, you have dark vision. Have a, you're taller. I have dark vision. Oh, do I have dark vision? I have dark vision. I have dark vision of 60 feet. <laughs> you open the hatch. There's a short, uh, like, landing. And then stairs. Oh. Stone stairs. Like, when I say stone, not like man-made. Am I like, gonna get spooked? Like imagine like limestone that somebody yeah. dug out to make stairs that go down yeah. into some kind of catacombs. I'm gonna turn back and look at them and say, guys, we're on to something. And then <laughs> we gotta figure out how we can all three of us go down this hatch, but make sure nothing bad happens. 
Oh, well, I, I, I could put a cloud of daggers. So are you, let me ask you a question. You're so by the door, you're guarding the door, right? Yes. Okay, so they, he just said this to you, you're guarding the door. You could, you could see through the little um, stained glass window in the door and hear the music people playing, right? Okay. Yeah. And you notice, Matthew, that there's like a bunch of people I'm from the Citadel I'm who have scared. gathered. There's like a good crowd of people. Like the Roll workers from the Citadel? Perception. Roll perception. Because oh. I'm terrified. God. <laughs> I'm so scared. We're about scared. to get real deep into this. 18. Matthew, you see men and women that are well-dressed nobles. You see a couple people from the military that look mm -hmm. like, I'm, I'm not talking like guards. I'm yeah. talking about like generals, like older guys. Um, you see a couple priests there, right? And then, and then standing uh, amongst the crowd, you see someone in a full Not again. cloak it's and red. hood, and it's red. Oh, Just a, and a silky, real nice silky cloak with, you can't see their face, the, okay. the hood's okay, pulled okay. low, there's a mask. It's still on it me, right? all the way down to their this body. This is misdirection. We're gonna kill an innocent person. No. Okay. Bill, can I person. do another perception roll? Where you just said a fine person. Where is this just tell me what Stretch, you want to know. I want to know, is it moving on the inside like there's these little baby right. things in, like how the but black cloak was? Coat. It's not, so, you guys get a, it's not walking, ass. so you can't, you can't tell if its movement is weird because it's standing yell? in the crowd. Do we, do we want to yell? yell? No, like bad like idea. Yeah, fuck them up. Yeah, fuck them up right now. Like, a little too much is happening. And then just kill it. if we Pick it up by So here's what we're going to do. Perfect. Okay? Ask feature, ask feature. So, okay. So I'm going to tell... Feature, you need to help us. I don't know what to do. Okay. Six more people pour into the crowd. You guys have a good crowd. Make another performance roll. Okay, I will. Keep Sam, make another perception roll. All right, here. We need to talk. 25. I got a 20. Olin and Mom. Can I use fancy dice? Make another performance. Yeah, I got a 17. Where's the fancy dice? Finally, I know I got a 17. These are good ones. You know what? I'll do it better. I'll do it better. All right, hold on. I want to see what Skyla's doing. Oh, these are like rocks. Like, she's not even rolling. Skyla's like plucking, but Cademan's drowning her out. Roll. Roll your your performance roll. So, Neely, Neely, here's what I can kill somebody for me. No. Please. Last time he Seven gave me my Daiko, he didn't give it back. Okay, you guys are like background yeah. because no, he is no. shredding a, a flute solo right now. And people are like Please. applauding. Yeah. They're like, they're like, I've heard of him. He's really right, right, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> You're looking and you see this crowd getting bigger and bigger. People, and then you notice that there's somebody in the crowd who's kind of a little bit taller than everybody else, and they're wearing a whole body cloak and mask, but it's red. It's not black. Yeah. Very nice red silk and. Uh, like velvet combination. Can I roll for a perception to see if I notice this? Yes, stage? you may. That'd be great. Where's my perception? Oh, Good plus question. one. That's Carl. Yeah. That's Carl. Ah, oh, just nine. It's his like, is they? Yeah, yeah it's right. nine. Just nine. Just, I, I just want one set. And he comes like, out of the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's either 30 feet or anywhere. I don't know. Look it up in your notes. Didn't I put that in your notes? I oh, gave him notes. I thought I printed you Where's notes. Where's my notes? Yeah. I just get confused. I can just communicate more with him. Yeah. I don't know the range. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. So communicate. Can I do that? Like, that's not my fault. No. Oh, yeah. No, no. What Thank I need you. is kill Trixie. Remember those days? <laughs> Remember those days, Carl? <laughs> oh, wonderful. All right. What I'm saying is, could I leave him and he could talk to me at any time? Pretty much. For this instance, I will allow it because I don't have time to look all this up. Okay, I am going to tell Jaquan. Um, I'm gonna. I like him. Oh, I'm gonna let him become visible because okay. he's super cool. Okay. He is um, super cool. Super cool. Super cool. He's so super cool. Cool. He is so cool. Uh, and I'm gonna say, Jaquan, I need you to hang out up here. Make sure you're looking out the window. Make sure everything's going on cool up here. If the priest wakes up, you go back <laughs> invisible and, uh, yeah, just like play it off real cool um, and just tell me what's going on. Feel free to disrupt my thoughts. Jaquan's eyes me. glow for a second and he's like, don't go down there by yourself, Master. That's a bad idea. He <laughs> says that? Without you, you say? <laughs> don't go down there Or without by yourself. other people. Uh, it's a bad idea. A group of people. There's, if I bring them in. There's and, danger down there. I if I bring my people. friends, is that going to be okay? Enough backup? Maybe. All right, I'm going to bring Jaquan right, with you're me. thinking about this. Wait. Dude, can I roll history to fig to if I know what those are, what that guy is in the red cloak? It just wait, looks I like a humanoid thing. wearing wait, a wait, full wait, wait, red wait. body cloak. Bill, okay, okay. Bill, my divine sense. Well, so did I Matthew know tell you guys evil? what he saw? <laughs> like, no, no. Right? <laughs> You're not there and you don't know, and it's far away. 
Oh, it's 60 that, feet. Yet that doesn't stay on like all day long, dude. You'd go crazy. You have to activate it. Okay, and you I'm already used it. Rip. Why can't I use it again? Because I said so. Why can't you do that? All right. Yeah, he says All right. So. Um, <laughs> hey, Neely. Okay, listen. <laughs> Here's one thing we should do. Tony, Tony, stop playing the guitar. Okay, this is a dramatic <laughs> moment, and I need to know what you guys are gonna do. Matthew's Matthew, you so notice this stuff. What are you doing? This is what I recommend we do. Right? We wake this guard you back up. You have to up. say it in Yomi's voice. Yeah. Oh, like, he goes, I don't know. Really why see. not you? No, <laughs> we, have to, <laughs> we must work our plan. We must go to we must wake the god and uh, we make him and wake him. No, I'm not no, yeah. I can't. No, I can't. no, no, no. You had it fine. That was last so time. good. <laughs> Talk in like big words. Talk like you're fun. Um <laughs> we must awake we must awake the the us uh, the slept guard. Hello guys. And uh, inform him of this red cloak humanoid. And I think that we should it's a priest that's asleep. Yes, oh yes, it's a priest. Long. We should we should wake the priest <laughs> I have slept, and uh, make him aware of this red humanoid, and then uh, he can go and get some foot soldiers Skylar, to go and apprehend the suspect, while the three of us go set up outposts uh, in the crowd in case he tries to flee. I I think we should go delve down and deep into this dungeon while we have the opportunity to. You notice I think this that blatant lie that in that the crowd just said to us is a little suspicious. You, you, you see this go happen. check out this like dungeon. No. If this were his shirt, you see this Currently unconscious. No. no. But also no. this red, th th no, it's the them. four of them I feel in the middle of the show. In our I tell, I tell okay. them. I don't want to fight right now. Fight on. Can I tell them I want to fight? Okay, there's this guy in the red cloak. I don't want to fight. I play. With Ain't no sunshine while she's gone in a dramatic fashion. Okay, right, we're gonna help. Yeah. Yeah. There's a guy in a red coat now with ready? things calling him. No, we can. No. No, but it's bread. Sam, we can. You see this. This means you, that you see the cloak, like yeah. parts yeah. underneath the cloak moving. We can start crawling in weird ways. So then, should <laughs> I? Would I stay there? Or would I go down? You could shoot it with a bow. From there. I want to sleep it. Wait, but we can't use violence in can't this can't town. Bill, let me sleep no, it. Bill, let me sleep it. Let me sleep it, Bill. All right. Okay, wait. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, right. I turn to Alexia. All right. Never I'm going to sleep it. You slip off no. stage and get it. And to get the others God. and take it away. No. Why? You're Don't not there. You literally. Are you going to tell Skyla? Mm. Are you going to you tell I'm not with you. I Mantra and um, Olin? What you saw? I have a big question. Yeah, I did. I told them. What? We have a the, question. I told Roll them. Roll 5d6. I have what? a big question. So, D6? violence isn't yeah. allowed in this town, right? Wait, what did you no, tell them? No, but I looked at Not that it's not allowed, allowed but they don't want like only a big disturbing battle you in public. So you only need to roll so over one time if you're trying to sleep one person. Stuff. It's 5v6 for the amount of people yeah, you can sleep. Nobody's answering. I'm sorry, it's 5v6. How did the authorities deal with stuff? Keep rolling. Add them up. There's the red cloaked figure. Okay, okay, right? Tony's gonna sleep in. He's an idiot. We're gonna. And then we know that. So we're kind of out. Okay, like, if we were to just like kill a seven. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. You got to make it All right, that's not cool. Cool. All right, Matthew, you're it's watching this, yeah. and you see a person <laughs> next to the red cloaked person fall asleep. <laughs> no. Somebody in the crowd just drops. <laughs> Rail off, you see somebody in the crowd, like a normal human, and then just like, drops. There's like three people that are like, shit. I'm sorry, and, like, I, and oh. I just see that. The most character I things that everybody just keeps playing. I think I'm just gonna keep Okay, ready? Is that, it's on me now? <laughs> it's on you. Okay, okay. okay. It's more in character that I kind of just keep Yomi's you done with. It, see, this is like, this is Yomi's tipping point. Please. Yomi, That's what I'm, doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain the thought here. Yeah. See, Yomi is is always just angry. Yeah. And, and Tony Agri, or not Tony, uh, Cademan. Just aggravates him because he's very young and right. naive. Yeah. And right. then, this is where he, he just gets so upset that he's just like, "I'm done with all of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it right here." Let and the rage come out. He lets Take the, the rage come out. Take the thumbnail picture. So, right what's his Take name? The thumbnail picture. Yomi. Oh, yeah. Matthew. Yomi. Is that like an anime? <laughs> thing? What? Let the flames You're, begin. Matthew talks tea with Tony. All right, I, Yomi, you have a clear I, shot of the guy in the red. No, what, you know what I want to use, Bill? What is, spell are you in fact casting? You can. So I'm gonna have everybody roll it. Can I just strike it in the head? What's initiative? I don't think I can talk. Yeah, initiative. Who gets to go first? Like, can we do that, please? So that's D20, and then you add your initiative bonus that's up there. Are we so doing you initiative have a 15. right now? Yeah. I, are we doing it too? I don't know. I just rolled. Phil, okay. are we doing it? D20. So just remember what you rolled. No, no, Phil, am no. I able to use oh. prestidigitation to make a loud so noise come from him of to course. drag what a lot of attention towards him? I'm gonna do that. What's the range? Initiative. I don't know. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. How many Three. times is he going to roll? <laughs> Cheating Victoria. I had eight. I had eight. All right. 20. 20. I don't know how many. I don't know how many. 20. 
You didn't read it to him. I got no. 13. That's okay. Hmm? Yeah. I don't know what my initiative is. What? Uh, dude, in the in the middle, <laughs> up about there, is a oh, okay. plus. Oh, so oh, okay. water. So, yeah, 20. Well, I got... I got no, don't. Neither I last got time a, I uh, gave you I my diet coke. Delicious. No. Shh, shh. 11. Do I have Petra? You can sit up straight. I understand that. No. What'd you get, Scout? Do I have Petra? Last time. Scout, what'd you get? I got nine. Okay. Did you add it? Yeah, that was nine. Carl? Nine plus three. That was six. Feature, what'd you get? Is this initiative? Yeah. Oh, 12. Plus what? What? 12. Are you going to be here after the game? Yeah. Yeah. After the basketball game? Probably. I don't know. Why. After it well, starts. Albert wants to know if you're going to be here. Yeah. He's going to be here. No, I know. Okay, bye. Can I go in this? Can I be <laughs> in here? Okay, love you, H.E.F. Okay, Millie, okay, Millie, put your person in here. And no, we're not there yet. What? All right. I want to be in You guys, fun. everybody, here's what I'm going to do. You, and give me your mini. I get to go first. Shut up. You here. You are here. You guys are up in this temple. Look. Yes. Yeah. I told you. We're hanging out. We're, 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 we're just, we're just okay. having fun. Yeah. And then, um, like guy. Guy. all the rest I'm of you guys. I'm high anyways. Roll. All the rest of you guys put your minis Rayla. over here in this, in this hey, plaza. Excuse me? Well, Skylar. Well, 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 give it some good candy. You set it up. Yes. Just make a square. All right. So you guys are performing over there. Matthew, where's that? And... Oh, just split it. You're table. a farmer. Very cool. Very so, cool. Ma <laughs> Matthew, you see this unfolding. The rage builds up, and what are you gonna do? Blast it? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're not doing okay. So I was thinking, there. magic missile. Is that gonna probably hit a lot of other people? No, that magic hits. missile hits exactly what you want. It's like a guided missile. Can this be in here to make it like a complete square? Yeah, fine, sure, whatever. In, okay. D &D. So I was thinking, I was just going to throw a magic missile at this guy, because isn't that like super precise, right? It's very precise. So I think I'm going to throw a magic missile. What's your spell information yes. about magic missile? I don't know. So I'm fine. You create three glowing darts. I got it, I got it, I got it. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you could see within range. A dart deals 1d4 plus 1 force damage. 1d4. So you d roll 3d4 plus 3. Three. You're all aiming this at one guy, right? Wait, but then, Bill, I got that like wild magic that I can tweak things with. Oh. I'm going to see if I have any cool things for that. That would be useful. Yeah. I feel bad that we're initiating the fight, to and we're, we're gonna be the to bad be. guys. Yeah, we're yeah. not allowed to be on cool. We're clearly little devil babies, though. So people, yeah. we're, we're doing, we're doing, hey, okay, three D four. Red, red and black. So can we, can we do what we did with the last dude? Roll that three times, add it up, oh, and then he add missed three. his sleep. So that's one. one. Oh, what about him? He can four, sleep. Five, you can sleep, can't can't you? old man. Eight plus three is eleven. So you fire three glowing darts at this thing. And you cause I'm 11 like damage, and it okay. flies back. Neely, yeah. you're down in the pit next to the sleeping dwarf priest, okay. next to him who's next to the trap door. Okay. You see Yomi lose it, and he's like, oh, the fool. And he just shoots something out of his hand. Like now what do I do? I don't know, but let me tell you, Matthew, it's time for you to roll something. Oh, it's distance, and I have the twin spell. Ooh. I'm so yep. hungry. Neither of which you need for this. Nope. Now what do I do? Can I can I throw okay, another so thing Neely, at him? Okay, so Neely, it's your turn. What are you gonna do? I don't know. What do I you do? You see Matthew attack. Matthew, what do I do? You say, Yomi, what, what do, do I do? No. Uh, he I would say people. nobody has his leaves. We should get down there. I think nobody that's what we should. Ah, oh, you just initiated roll these percentile. Wait, no, only half? because roll, Tony roll, tried to sleep. Roll these two dice. Roll them. In the is the thing dead now? Nineteen. The cloak thing dead? Is it dead? What happened to the cloak? All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do I do? I can't tell you, but it's awesome. It's awesome. Ever heard my so what are you going to do? No, you feel, you see spell, him so shooting something. Like, you don't even know what he's either, shooting at. I don't at. know what it is. Nope. Someone just so you can either run up to the door by him and see what's going on. <laughs> you can stay put and cower in fear. No, I want to run up there. All right, you run up there to the door and see what's going on. Yeah. You see a red cloaked figure that's been spun around by magic missiles that, that he's like aiming at. Okay, where is it at? In the crowd. So you could, next round, you could run down there and do something. But, but now you see what's going on. Okay. Uh, you could. Can I keep running? You could keep running. I just running. want to keep sure. running. Sure. So you, she runs past you out the door. Okay, Carl, 
Yes. You see this from the perspective of the band. As you're oh. blowing a flute solo, Matthew. you see this red cloaked figure. Oh my God. Well, first you mm -hmm. see somebody next to the red cloaked mm -hmm. figure faint. Yeah, I kept playing. I didn't and you kept playing, but yeah. then you oh, see three playing. bolts of magical playing. energy shoot out from the nearby temple and hit the red cloaked figure. I'm going to assume it's my crew. You know? Yeah. Because they're ridiculous. So <laughs> what, what do you I do? Here? Yeah. So did the bolts Enter. hit the little the red cloaked figure? It hit the red cloaked figure. What's his, what's his what's situation? What's the state of the cloak? Is it, the cloak it, off? It, nope, it's just been spun around. And people like are if, aware you know, that something's hurt? happening? Well, like people, ju I mean, this is, is literally all happening in like like slow motion. Like, like, oh, yeah, I forgot. So they, they, weird. they spin, you know, like people Each are like, oh, is what's like, going on? Right? What do I do in this situation? What do you do? You have eight seconds to decide. Seven, I don't really want to do six, anything. Five, you I just observe? Jump into the crowd. Three. Let's just jump in. Okay. Yeah. In what fashion? Rock star. Like, like my feet are up. <laughs> oh, like, I'm going to lean back and then Superhero landing. Yeah. I want to just get in there and get at the freaking. Uh, okay, whatever. so you, go, you yeah. start moving Matthew, through the crowd, like moving oh, people wait. out of the way. I mean, and I want to I throw my no. flute directly at the, um, the red silk. You know, there's here. a good chance that if you did that, your flute would break, and it's precious to you. It's not in I don't have backup do flutes? That. No. This is the backup This is flute. the same flute. That saved you in the town of Dario Larcher. Oh, that to was crazy. I game, remember that. I would have to destroy my flute by throwing it at this guy. That's a really hard decision. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to jump in. Okay, you start moving. <laughs> Beecher. I am going to tell Yomi we, we have to go down in this temple Where right did now. Yomi go? Yomi is. You tell him that. <laughs> He's standing <laughs> at the <laughs> door. He just fired know, something, and she ran out. <laughs> So how far oh, away I don't want to go alone, now? but I'm about to. As you're thinking I'm going to go that. in and close the door behind me. Why? Okay, you go in the hatch. And then cast light. Oh, no. Okay. You oh. go into the hatch, you cast light, and you see the stairs going down. All right. Oh, Tony, it's your turn. Oh, I can't reach. Can you your please? If you guys get any pizza grease on my red velvet I cross, I, won't, I, won't I will personally like get permission from your family to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> right. You're going to sign what right. we want. Phil, um, can I try to roll my sleep again? Yes. How many sleep spells? How many spell slots do you have? Yeah, Bill, you haven't really been keeping track of our I've, spells, to be that's honest. That's your job. I didn't know. I, was, I didn't know what we had like limited we call spells. Them I'm going to say that you could do it one more time. Go ahead, roll the dice five times. I've only done one slot. Okay, six. there you go. Six. We're gonna get comments about this. Seven. Seven. Sorry, everybody. Eight. Eight. Fourteen. One more. Dilly dilly, Phil. Dilly dilly. All right, you're like what? the red cloak thing has appeared. Falls asleep. Oh. It drops. Okay. It just Oh, it hits the ground and acts. You're welcome. Dead. How about did my magic missiles you're not right. do anything to it? Oh it, it did. Do do? Like it hurt him? Apparently. Much you don't know. You're not you there yet. You just smacked it so hard. Skyla, what do you do? <laughs> do I you go do? over there. Okay. You start making your way through the crowd like yeah. Raylock towards the red cloak thing. Sam, oh, wait. you're up on the roof. You see all this happen. From your bird's eye view, you saw Yomi pop his head out of the temple door mm -hmm. and look at this, and you saw him fire those magical missiles. Yeah. And then after that, you saw Mantra run out the door, awesome. and then you saw Rayloff and yeah. and Elixia jump out into the crowd and start moving people out of the way Can to get I over there. Jump down and yes. like she also see me go the through spell? the crowd and get to them. Yes, make an acrobatics roll. Come on. Wait, I have a question. And do your cat-like jump. I have a question. Oh. Um, sixteen. Good enough. Okay. Okay. Sam is a You're almost yeah. there. I have a question. Yes. A Wouldn't it be weird if I like got off yeah, the yeah. stage because they're not? It's okay, on Matthew. Stage. Just die and then come back. Like, shouldn't someone stay on there to like? At this point, or is it okay to go off? At this point, stage? it seems like the crowd's like becoming aware that something's going on. So they might not know not what. Like weird, so they're like, like kind of everybody's like moving around in confusion. Okay, cool. Just make it. Just. Can cool. should we? Are we just going to be standing around this dude, or are we going to try to pick him up and like take him to an alley? Well, that's the question, because it's now the top of the order, which brings us back to Yomi. You no longer see the red no, cloak thing, because it dropped in the back. crowd. Mm -hmm. There's a, people around it and people moving it's away. Like what do you do? Do you stay there in the doorway? No, do you run no, down there? I did yell at him, we have to go down there. OK, here's what I'm going to do. Who is closer to me, distance-wise? Uh, Cademan or Mantra? Because well, I just peeked my hat out, right? She is. 
she's because she came from where you're at, so she's running yeah. towards I, the situation. So this is what I want to do. So like, imagine here she is, they're over there, and and you're like in the doorway. And I'm way far. You're away. like in the doorway. Oh, you're here. Right. I'm like in a Bill. Cave. Okay, so here's what <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna here? scream the mantra. Picture. I'm gonna say. Is she just like that? Mantra, you must, uh, you must, uh, it's new, you right? must instruct them to to take the red cloak figure uh, to a uh, secluded location uh, and investigate, uh, you know, all the details. Uh, me and oh my goodness, Olin. Oh wait, I knew it was Olin, but I was like, wait, it's, it's like Olin. forty seconds of explanation. So you say the no. first part. He, I say the mantra. I was like, mantra, get get the red cloak person out of here. Figure yeah. out what's going on. That's what I'm going with Olin into the uh, dungeon. That's okay. what it is, right? So yeah. is it done now? You, you don't know. So here's okay, what you see. Okay, I want to slice its head off. Okay, stand by. Wow. This is gonna be a dope um, I, I'm going to put, what can I put as a marker? Wait, I'm going to put this stupid um, toy dragon down Why? to represent the Very cool. uh, the fallen person. Okay. Or, we go find like, buyer. Just shh. Oh, okay, hey, two love you. Okay, hey, two love you. Hey, love you. Hey, two love you. Hey, two love you. He's purple. No, he's black. He's dark blue. I'm gonna put a bunch of village him. people around here milling about. They're all like, oh, what's going on? Hate you, love you. Oh, very cool. Bye. Okay. King. Very uh, spicy. All right, there we go. Tom, There's some more. I don't know. What do you There's want to do? All right, hey. No. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so you said that, and then you duck inside, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're running back down. Neely, okay. you can be. I'm gonna slice so its head off. You run up there and you're gonna slice its head off. Yep. Go ahead. What do I Attack roll. D twenty. Roll. Ooh. roll. Long sword. Sixteen. Sixteen. That's definitely a hit. Roll one D eight and add six. Six. Which one's the D eight? Carl. You need this one? one? Yeah. We don't like to mess around. Like we Seven. let them do whatever they want and then if something goes wrong, we just quack. Long dice. This one. I respect that. Yeah. I respect the mean, game. Mean Six. Owen took Damn. Out the last one. All right. No. The paladin runs up and is like, <laughs> and the head, where the head would be, gets cut off and blood shoots out. But you see little legs. Ew, is it more demon babies? It's more demon babies. Uh, yeah. They're asleep, though. Oh, no. And the rest of the now. body is yeah. bubbling yeah. off. Oh, no. Wait, so then ah. can Hold on. Carl, it's your it? turn. Yeah. So you, you run up. And this beautiful tiefling in armor. She's swole. She has like swole arms. Oh, really? She's got like very nice horns. She's like this. I love but horns. She doesn't, very horny, she doesn't yeah. match around with boys. They, Carl, just to, clear, <laughs> just to be clear, just to be clear, she is the most yeah, charismatic. Yeah. Carl, yeah. she is the most charismatic you. tiefling I'm sorry, that you've ever me? seen other than yourself. Other than myself. I mean, what? Other than wow, it's Are you even a tiefling? Wow. So, what do you do? But, uh, <laughs> so, I'm. She, you just see her cut this thing, and you see instead of where there should have been a neck, there's like little demon legs and blood. So, yeah. my original. And the rest plan, of the cloak I is like. I already bubbling. told you about this, that this happened. I had a plan okay. to, you know, kind of work on the situation that's happening yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. But this kind of just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Big arms. You know, I love that. Yeah. Um, from the dragon from last season. Yes, that's true. Very <laughs> sexy. I'm kind of been taken back by this, I think. Yes, so I'm absolutely. probably just gonna come. Kind of... It's shocking. Okay. You've heard about this from the reports, yeah. but you have not seen it yourself, and now Very you're seeing hot. it. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I mean, a very. Just pass. Just say pass. <laughs> I'm gonna. Pass. Just watch. I just want to watch. I just want to watch her do her thing. Okay. Yeah, just enjoy it. Okay, fair enough. And if she looks at me, just like... Feature, a, yeah. you have a light spell. Yes. You're crawling uh, towards the stairs, and then you crouch down, do, and you're okay, going down um, the stairs. Wait, I, one, you're going to have to thing. help me down. Uh, or do you wait for where Yomi? Where are we going? I am not going to wait for Yomi. Hey, what are um, they left. I just watched her. Is, <laughs> you, know, you know my really cool candle? No, you're with all them. You know my cool candle? No, we're yeah. all here. Is this... Inside to see if this is an appropriate time to light that candle. <laughs> I thought you put that candle in the safety deposit box. Oh, I did, damn it! Okay. You're right. We went there. The oh, no! I want my candle. Okay, fine. I'm just going to keep have, charging. Have Jaquan go get it. No. He not could. Have time to go get that candle. He can't. Why can't it's he? Cause it's because he put it in a thing where yeah, it's protected by magic. Got it. He put it Box. in a... Uh, it's, Jaquan it's, can open it. It's like the no. bank from Hogwarts. Yeah, it, yeah, it basically can imagine like the, 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 the bank from Hogwarts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, he had the spell. There's no more dice in there. 
Tony, yeah. you see all this unfolding. You see another set of demon baby stupid. things happening. What are you going to do? Some stupid stuff. You notice that mantra, the paladin, attacked. And and this thing okay, is still bubbling dagger. and quivering. I have, I have an attack bonus of five. Yes. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start. Can I just stab one? You run up and stab it. Roll. Yeah. No. What is it, D20? Yep. Yeah. Where's your attack bonus? You miss. All right. Um, Skyla, you're up. I'm glad that we're killing things again. Um, now you know that you have Someone horn whip, which so. could entangle it and pull it away from the crowd, which could make the rest of the crowd safe. Can't horn whip it like, it like, 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 I had a real plan. Yeah. Yeah. You like, can. <laughs> I mean, you don't know how many you would get. Go ahead and roll your attack roll for horn whip. Hey, hey, side conversations are on microphones. So zip it. It pulls it back too. Roll. Tell me what the result is. Six. That's a miss. Because your total would be plus three, plus two, so that'd be a five, so that'd be 11. Miss. You know what, though? It's prone. Go ahead and roll a second time. You, you get advantage. One. Okay, so here's the thing. You try to thorn whip it, you try to thorn whip it, but the problem is there's too many people milling about, and you just it, you can't get a good grab on it. Okay. My turn. Sam. I'd like to go. Okay, you got to decide. What are you doing? You're there. You make it. Um, Rapier. We the first, like what what is Samantha, happening? If you attack this because you have an ally next to it an within five feet yeah. on each side, yeah. you actually can do sneak attack damage. So you should roll an attack with your rapier and hit it. Now because it's prone, you get um, seventeen. Yeah, that's good enough. You hit. <laughs> All right, now roll a one d eight. Yes. Look where your rapier is. Yeah. Okay, what's oh, the wow, plus? Oh, wow, seven. Five. Oh. You have plus five? Right. No, plus four. Okay. No, yeah. Yeah, okay. so it's a total so of five. Six, but six. you get your sneak attack damage. So roll three D6. Six-sided dice. Yeah, and add it up. What? So you had five plus right. what? Four, four is nine. nine. So roll two more times. Oh. <laughs> Fifteen and uh, twelve. You plunge your rapier through, and you hit at least three bodies. That's good. Yes. As you, you, and then you go to pull your rapier out, and it's like holding a shish kebab. Yeah. So okay. how many are left? Like five. You're not sure because they're still all under the. Like but eight. they're yeah, starting. Yeah, they're starting to emerge. Yeah. I just want to roll. All right, top of the order. My turn. Matthew. I need to know what's going on in the freaking dungeon. Okay, you get down there. Okay, what's going on? Well, you. Good job. You see him. What's going on? He's inside of this Why is little so entranceway, cool? and he's got a light spell cast on the end of his um, uh, sight. I'm and you could see I'm that there's me. stairs, stone stairs going down. I already went down. I hope he's he's waiting for you. No, no I wasn't he waiting. Wasn't. I, 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 he went, I, he went down, okay, down those so stairs. You go, do you have dark vision? I don't I know. Do. How would I know? <laughs> Look on your character sheet. Down. <laughs> Probably. I don't think he's on the right side, yeah, dark vision. Draconic eggs. No. Okay. No. So, I guess you're gonna sit there and light a dark. I have 60 foot dark vision, yeah. but I'm not with you, so rip. So you light a torch. I don't have. How one. many torches do you have? None. Rip. How about and your laser? Dragon, right? You Just don't even bring know. some fire around them. A piece of wood. Well, it's pretty dark. You're okay. gonna die. I take. Oh no no no! I crack off a piece of my bagpipe and then go. You're gonna die, <laughs> Matthew. You're that would totally die. work if you were a fire-based dragon, but like, as you recall, I'm an acid-based dragon. Choose if you fire. die, acid-based dragon. Are you kidding me? Can I fire? Can I just be a fire dragon? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna be like, Yo, Olin, like, come over here. I, I can't see. It's dark, and I don't. I have bad vision because I'm old. I'm Help, gonna, I've fallen. I can I throw a light spell? You could deactivate the one that you have and throw it up to him mm -hmm. since you have dark vision. No, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. What? That's the dumbest thing, man. How am I going to? All right, you see a stone. Vision. Listen, oh, you vision. see a rock. It actually hits you in the forehead. Uh, you're like, ow, and you pick it up, My and it's Xbox light. Controller. And it's like a, basically a flashlight on a rock. I love that. Cool. And he's at the bottom of the stairs, so you go down. All right, Neely. Yeah. There's more of them bustling around. They look like they're about to bust out of the cloak. I want to switch to my... Doing that would take time. 
Okay, well then never mind. As an experienced fighter, you I would just stick with your things. shield and sword that you currently okay, have. Okay, well I want to slice more. Go, Dagger. kill, slice roll. Like I want to get like as uh -huh. many as I can, you know, how I did last time. 17. That's pretty good. Roll damage. D8. <laughs> yes, and then add six. This Eight. Yeah. You're like, whoosh, another one, dead. Just one? Yep. Oh. My turn? Okay. Or is Beecher's? It's, uh, well, it's Beecher's. Okay. No, sorry, it's Carl's, Carl's. really. Carl, do you continue to just marvel? It's, no, I re kind of regain my senses. Yes. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry? Of course. It's okay. Fine. Go ahead. Go with what? Yeah. My, what are you going to do? Oh, my idea. Okay. Ever, I heard whispering. Um, I'm going to kind of, the crowd's obviously yes, going to be a little crowd agitated. Very agitated. I'm going to like, start, going I'm going to kind of yell to them. I'm going to say, uh, no need to worry, everybody. We're on the official orders of the king himself. Please return to your homes. Persuasion. Yeah. Persuasion. Oh, I, this I, dice I, is so confusing. It's so confusing. Look, where's my persuasion? Oh, seven. So, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. What does that say? 13 oh, plus 13. 7, Sorry. 20. 20? Yeah. Pe people actually seem to respect you. Like you're mm -hmm. you're waving around the writ with that you have with the seal of the kid. Like the, yeah. Get they're they're like, here. oh, oh. And they start ba people start backing away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, cool. Beecher, you see a long hallway. Like and it looks like it's been carved out of stone. Mm -hmm. like, like over time, people like chipped away at the stone. Almost like a mine, <laughs> but like with a little more <laughs> refinement. And there's like a, no. a, a very old looking um, like runner, like carpet, that is has like intricate designs that maybe, do you have Arcana? I believe I do. Yes. I'm going to make a roll. 14. They look arcane. That's my knowledge. The symbols look arcane, but not in a new or commonly used way. They look very old. You're... you're they look arcane, but you're not. You can't quite make where they're from. But you're Jaquan, studying. Would, I'm gonna ask Jaquan, Do you understand these symbols at all? Um, What's divine? Jaquan, Jaquan, do something. Ja read it. Jaquan, um, didn't I give you a printout of your things? Is this look at your sheets. Yeah. Very um, confusing. These dice are. Jaquan's like weird. Master, yeah. don't they touch them. They are heavy them. too. I don't leads love to them because it's kind of. I wish the numbers were painted. All right, I'll come back to you. I'll let you soak that up for a second. Go. Tony. Can try to murder some more demon babies, Bill. Okay. Good Why call, Tony. Talk like this? <laughs> You've got nice. a comment for everything, Matthew. Ten. Thank you. I get an attack bonus three, yes. so 13. Excellent. Roll a d4 and add in your bonus. A weapon. It's the one that looks like a pyramid. Two plus what? Oh, do I really look no, look under your weapons. Oh. It should say dagger. Yeah. What, damage five. type? Yeah, it says five. 1d4 plus 5. Yeah, plus the plus 3. No, okay. So, so five. Five. All right, Psh, you feel like you stabbed another one. Cool. Skyla, your turn. Thorn whip once again. Roll. The demon babies are starting to emerge. It's still down. You get, you get advantage. Go ahead. Roll one time. Okay. Take the higher of the two rolls. 20! Yay, there you go. All <laughs> nice. right, using the Bill Allen damage alternative scoring system, yeah. you max out Where's your first, dice? and then you roll the second D6 and add it to six. So you do an incredible, four. no, six, six plus four. So you do 10 damage, you thorn whip it, and you pull it away from the crowd, and as you're squeezing and pulling, you see blood ooze out of the cloak as you kill at least Above. one more. Are there any left? Yeah, there's more. Um, okay. The funny thing is, Sam, is that you could move. She pulled it towards her. So if you move up and then stab it, you can attack and still get your sneak attack. <gasps> okay, I do oh. that. Go. Oh, I do have I got 14. Else. Good enough. Roll your damage. So it's D8 and then 3D6. <laughs> I got... Six. Okay. Trust Plus three d six. Roll fast. The, the six sided dice. The ones what? that people use for gambling. <laughs> what? And I got six. And what? you roll that three times. Nine. Mm, Twenty four. Good. It's dead. There's no quivering left. 
Ah, oh, crud. Really? Oh, I yes. had an idea. Fudge. <laughs> okay, Did Carl, people are looking to you. Oh, I can't. They're like, what, what's, what is this all about? What's, uh, I can't do the performance thing again because that'd be a retread of the you, previous season. So no, but your role previously for persuasion was good enough. You, 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 you basically stick with the same by. line. What are you guys doing while he's dissuading the crowd? I'm, like trying to I'm going to start this playing stuff. guitar to try to calm you, the If you have help, you could probably scoop up the cloak on both sides and carry it like Why a big I, so blood So then we should, we should do, do that. that. Where's Mantra? So we Skyla grabs, or, uh, you guys grab Mantra, one side Alexia. together and Mantra grabs I the do. other side and you kind of pick it up. And as you're carrying like, it away towards an alley, there's like blood pooling to the bottom, like the low that's part. That's so cool. And so it's just dripping out. And then we should have like one hand like under, and then I go under and I put Can we can we take one of the barrels? <laughs> just yeah, like hold it underneath so it catches all the blood. I love how Matthew set up like an entire market. <laughs> <laughs> Marketplace <laughs> slash fountain slash cemetery. Wait, and there's we, cool jam. Yeah. Cool. Do we make an invisible? <laughs> people gonna like Um You don't really so you see Rayloff is actually sending people away, and as you you guys are kind of Return sneaking home. out the back with the bag yeah, of whatever. the stuff. Okay. Presumably back towards at least the guards' barracks mm -hmm. to okay. report what happened. So Is fine. that your plan? That sounds yeah. great. Let's get All right. with it. Yes. You join them. Yes. Yeah. As you guys are, are making your way back, you're only a couple blocks away. As you're making your way back to the Citadel, you realize that you are not sure where Yomi and Olin are. And that's where we will leave oh. off on this epic episode oh. of D&D with High School Students with our special guest, Carl, yeah. in the form of Rayloff. Hey. Everybody, have a fantastic uh, holiday weekend, and we'll see you in December.